everyone. Welcome back to Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. My name is Amelia Roberts, and today we are talking about Copilot in Power Automate. Now, I did not start the process of learning Microsoft products in Power Automate. I went from Power BI to Copilot Studio and then got to dive into Power Automate. So my learning has been a little different than most but I am coming to you from a beginner standpoint. And that is that I have been learning Power Automate on a very basic level for a little bit now, and I wanna pass my knowledge on to you what I have learned so far and how I did it. So what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm gonna be showing you how to use Copilot within Power Automate. Everyone knows I am the co-pilot queen here at Pragmatic Works, and the number one reason that I really love co-pilot in general is it helps me learn, and it can help you too. Let's back up just a little bit. So what exactly is Power Automate? It is a way to automate a set of workflows, so you can complete a variety of tasks automatically. Why does this pair well with Copilot? Well, Copilot is an AI assistant that Microsoft developed that is helping us streamline these tasks so that we don't have to spend so much time on it. So we are going to leverage the amazingness of both of these tools to really streamline a process and get something done quickly. Let's head over to my laptop and check this out. All right, so here we are in Power Automate. You can see at the top it says, create your automation with Copilot. It gives some prompt ideas, but let me explain to you exactly what I want. So every single week at our company, new people are hired. And every Monday, I want to send an email to all of the new hires, welcoming them to our organization. I would like this done automatically. And we keep all this information within a SharePoint list so I would really like Power Automate to pull from the SharePoint list all of the new hires information, send them an email automatically, and then I don't have to worry about having to do it manually each week, and I don't want to miss anyone or not know somebody was hired, so I'm going to make sure that it's done right and efficient using Copilot and Power Automate. I am going to give Copilot just a natural language prompt here. And it is simply going to say, every week, send an email for each item in a SharePoint list. Now, I could just go ahead and put this through, hit generate. But what I actually am going to do is I'm going to look at the options that Power Automate and Copilot have given me below it. This will actually hire my chances of getting a template that I want that is going to provide me with the exact workflow that I'm looking for. So looking through here, it says every week send an email from a SharePoint list item. That could be a good one. Maybe that's what we're looking for. Every week send an email for each item. I don't want each item. Depending on the items in a SharePoint list, send an email each week. That could be it. For each item in a SharePoint list, no. Send an email weekly for each item in a SharePoint list. We're getting closer and closer. A lot of these are really good. And I think the one I want to send or do is depending on the items in a SharePoint list, send an email every week. I think that sounds closest to what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Now, Copilot is gonna be working, trying to come up with a template for me. There are thousands of templates within Power Automate, and it's probably going to pull something along those lines. So it looks like it's giving me the trigger of a reoccurrence, and then my actions are get items for each, send an email. That looks pretty good to me. I can add more details, but I actually kind of wanna see this, what it looks like once we get into Power Automate, and I'll fine tune it once we get there. All right, so I'm all authenticated, ready to go. Let's create this flow. Amazing. So it looks like it built out this for me. Looks good to go. I'm gonna expand this. So for, it wants a reoccurrence, get items from a SharePoint list for each, send an email. Now, it's not going to fill out all of the information for you, but it is going to give you a template. So if you want to add details, you can look at something like our reoccurrence. It says interval once a week, gives me a time zone. On these days, I could go in here and choose every Monday. And then I can 
go from there. I can do a certain hour, a certain start time, certain minutes, whatever it is that I want. When I go into my SharePoint option, I obviously need to give the site address and the list name, and then I can choose advanced parameters if I want to based off of that. For each is going to go with my SharePoint, so that's where I would wanna pull that specific date. And then the email, of course, I would just need to fill out with the proper information. I would need to pull the email from the SharePoint as well as pulling the date. So this is a really good template setting me up for success. I can also go over to Copilot over here and I can ask for changes to be made. So if I, for instance, wanted it to run every Monday at three o'clock, if I didn't go in and do that manually, I can say, make this run every Monday at 3 p.m. And then Copilot's going to think about it and it's going to suggest updates and it's gonna go ahead and change that for me. So what it changed, the flow is now configured to run every Monday at 3 p.m. So if I click on this, now I can see that every Monday has been added. Looks good to me. I'm gonna keep this one and let me actually show you another one. So I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna save this flow, really don't feel like I need it. Um, and let's do something a little different. So that was a pretty simple prompt, but I'm gonna give one that's a little bit more detailed, maybe with a few other things involved. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Create a workflow that sends an email notification to the team whenever a new file is added to the project documents folder in OneDrive. Include the file name and a link to the file in the email. This looks pretty good. Once again, I am going to look through my list of options here. So when a new file is created in OneDrive, copy it to SharePoint. I'm trying to leave SharePoint out of this. When a new file is created in OneDrive, create a share link for the file and post a message to a Teams conversation. That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna check my others. I was a teacher in a past life and I taught a lot about testing strategies. And one of those is to make sure you read every answer before you choose what you think is the correct one. So I'm gonna read every answer here. When a file is modified in OneDrive, I don't want when it's modified, just when a new file is added. For every updated file in OneDrive, I don't want that either. And then send an email when a new file is created in OneDrive. That's pretty close too, but I do need that extra step of that link. So I think I am going to choose my second option here because I do not wanna have SharePoint involved, so I'm going to not do the first one. And here we go, what a file is created, initialize the variable. So we've got a start here. I do need to add more to this, but let's keep it and continue and see what happens. Create a flow. All right, so it did do when a file is created. I need to point to the file. I need to initialize the variable here. And then from here, I do need to ask it to add a Teams message with the link in it. So I can ask Copilot for this. Let's ask by saying, So I'm going to get a little bit more deeper here on this prompt and see what Copilot can come up with for us. Add a card to send a message in Teams chat or channel with the variable included in the message. Let's see if Copilot can come up with this for us. Looks like it's giving us a couple of actions here that I could possibly do. Would you like to proceed with adding one of these actions? I can pick number one or number two. Let's read our options. This action posts a card to a chat or channel. This action posts a message to a chat or channel. You will need to provide the poster location. So I think I want number two. And here we go. Now it has added post message to conversation and I can go in here and make my edits as I want. This is super helpful because sometimes, especially being a beginner in Power Automate, I'm a little unsure exactly what card to add to my flow, what's going to work the best, what is going to give me exactly what I want. There are so many different options, but 
This has been insanely helpful. If you want to know more about Power Automate, we have some great YouTube videos here on our channel, but on our on-demand learning platform, we have a variety of different Power Automate videos that you can check out, full trainings for you. I suggest head over that way, check out Introduction to Power Automate, check out Automation in a Day, whatever you feel you need. It's a great place to learn. I'm Amelia Roberts, your co-pilot queen, and I will see you in the next one.